you actually made it. I was going to kill you anyway. You've just made it easier. My original plan was to hide the disc somewhere else and then ask you some questions. But no matter. For now, answer me this. Are you going to step into this puddle I've made? Or will you run for your life? Which way would you like to die? If we're asking questions, I've got some too. Do you know who the one behind all this is? Who exactly is Pale Snake? Also, by gathering all the discs together, what are they really hoping to achieve? My, you're an interesting one. I can understand the motive behind fighting to protect yourself. Or even fighting to protect your friends. Well, that's not something I can relate to, but I can see why you do it. However, what I don't understand is why you'd willingly walk in here to die. Also, as for the one known as Pale Snake, unfortunately, I don't know who they are. Did you think I was distracting you, moronic child? The entirety of this puddle has already become a part of my body! Were you trying to soak up the water with flour? I commend your effort, but you failed. Well, it was futile. I have full understanding of my power and created an environment for myself where I have no weaknesses. Your body seems to be a worthy vessel. Perhaps I can live inside of it comfortably for a while. Nah, because now you've already lost. Mm -hmm. When you made this so-called perfect environment for yourself, you had to splatter water all over the floor. Wrong move. While you were pondering how to kill me, you didn't hear me start the tractor with my threat. I guess the sound of the water masked the noise. So since you were preoccupied, I made my move. The tractor has left the storehouse, and the discs you vowed to protect are gone. You! You asshole!